Hey everybody, it's Mike here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to connect Discord to VoiceMeter using VB Audio's virtual audio cables. This guide's primarily aimed towards folks who already have VoiceMeter set up and running on their system and are fairly familiar with the mixer itself. If you need additional assistance in getting VoiceMeter installed and set up correctly on your system, we would suggest checking out our super easy to follow VoiceMeter guide aimed towards beginners. All right, first thing we're gonna do here is head over to VB Audio's website and we're gonna download the zip file containing the drivers for the virtual audio cable. So go ahead and click the download button right here. Uh, I have already downloaded this zip file already, so it's on my desktop. Uh, you're gonna have to extract all the files, which I will extract to my desktop as well. And when that folder opens up, let's go ahead and go down here to the VB cable setup x64.exe. We're gonna go ahead and right click and then run as administrator. Go ahead and click install driver. Installation is complete and successful. You'll need to reboot your computer in order to take the next steps. Now that our system's rebooted and our drivers are installed, let's go ahead and open up Discord. And at the bottom left corner, let's go to our user settings. Go under voice and video. And we use voice meter aux output as our microphone, so we're gonna select that. And under output device, we're gonna go ahead and select the VB audio cable. Should be listed as cable input. Now that that's done, go ahead and hit the escape X and close Discord out. Next, let's open up voice meter and you can select any one of the hardware inputs, but we're gonna select hardware input two. So first I'm going to rename this Discord. You can do that by right clicking on the text there. And then under select input device, you can see I have the other VB audio cables already installed, but we're gonna select the cable output. Okay, there we go. And as far as routing the audio, we're gonna go ahead and only leave the A1 button selected. That way the audio is being sent to our headphones. If you wanted to route the audio anywhere else, you would select the corresponding A buttons right here. And now that the connection has been set up, quick way that you could test to see if it's working is you could jump into one of your voice channels and if you have the soundboard option available to you, you can go ahead and just start playing around with that. And voice meter is now accepting audio from Discord and then sending it to both my headphones and over to my other PC. And if you unfortunately ever run into a situation where your audio is crackling either inside of Discord or the audio coming from Discord, let's show you a couple tips to uh, try and fix that. So typically when I run into these issues, it usually stems from a sample rate mismatch so we're gonna go ahead and open up our sound control panel and I'll show you how to change that. So let's go ahead and minimize voice meter for right now. And we're gonna go down to the bottom right in our tray, right click on the speaker icon, and we're gonna click sounds. Okay, now with the sound control panel open, we're gonna first start with the recording tab. Now, if we go down to the cable output, this is our virtual audio cable that we're currently using. We're gonna go ahead and right click on this, click properties. And then when you go to advanced, you want to make sure that all of your sample rates all match across. So for me, I prefer two channel 24 bit 48 K Hertz uh, studio quality. So that's what I have selected. You'll have to click apply and then OK. And then you need to go through every single voice meter device that's listed in the sound control panel and make sure you have that same sample rate set as well. So 48,000 24 bit two channel. And you also have to do the same thing over on the playback tab as well. So let's go ahead and scroll down and we're gonna check our cable input. Go to properties. We're gonna go to the advanced tab. And then once again, 24 bit, 48 Hertz. Okay, beautiful. Click okay, then if you need to, go ahead and click apply and then okay. You can also change the sample rate on the mixer itself as well. To do so, let's open up the menu in the top right hand corner. And then we're gonna go down to the system settings slash options. And here is the system settings. Down here in the preferred main sample rate, that's where you're gonna be able to go in and change. If it's set to 44 or 48, just make sure that once again, everything is matching across the board. And then go ahead and exit out of this. After changing that, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you completely restart voice meter, restart your computer or any other devices that voice meter is currently hooked up to. And that should fix the issue. And with that, now you have Discord connected to voice meter. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it useful, feel free to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.